Hey folks, it's Mangrel. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to more videos on the new DJI O3 Air Unit. And here you can see I've got each of the three components of the system. I did go ahead and get the new goggles too. And this just recently released as a standalone package. So I did get all these parts straight from DJI. I'm not uh, affiliated or sponsored by them. So I do appreciate you watching this video and subscribing and liking. Definitely goes a long way to helping me make more and more of these videos. So on the last video, we ended up installing the new O3 Air Unit into this guy. This is our Lumineer 3-inch frame QAVS Mini. I'll link you in the video description to that build. So you can see it's it's here, it's in one piece. But what I want to do is go ahead and do a quick unboxing of these three pieces so you can see exactly what comes with them and what's in the box. So let's start with the controller. So I'll do the controller first. And for the controller, I went with the remote controller too. Now I know that there are potentially some issues with this based off of Mad Tech's video, but I don't fly that far away from myself and I do like the whole integrated way that this works. So I'm hoping that the issue Mad Tech found is um, easily resolved through software updates as the system matures. So let's go ahead and open this up. Now this I bought from Amazon. So this I will give you a link in the video description. If you want this, do appreciate you using my links. So let me go ahead and open this. Now this is my first time getting in here. So bear with me while I fumble with this and try to open it all up. But let's see what we get. So I'm hoping nothing is defective. So I'm hoping everything is kind of in the right shape. I see a dent in the box. So let's see. How's it open? Oh, there we go. All right. Look at that. So we've got a little tiny remote. Remote? No, little tiny uh, manual. We've got mm, recycling information for Germany. All right, we've got the remote itself. Okay, it comes with a little tiny piece of foam for shipping. We've got... Okay, we've got the sticks hmm. and these are really short so let me go ahead and screw these in okay hmm. I think that's going to take a lot of getting used to. I do have the black controller right now. Yeah. I think I can adjust. I can probably adjust that. Look at this. <laughs> I can probably adjust that. But yeah, I have to I have to set this up because right now it's... No, this is no good for us. So I will have to set this up. But in terms of unboxing, looks like that is all we get. So nice compact. Feels pretty good. Just have to adjust this a little bit tighter for my big thumbs. Okay, so that's the first piece, looking good. Anything else in the box? Uh, do not eat, okay. Anything hidden underneath? Nope. All right, so that is a controller, and it looks like we have some storage base here for the sticks. We have USB Type-C, but no cable. So this does not come with the cable to charge it or to hook up your computer. So that's quite unfortunate. All right, let's move on to the air unit. All right, and here's the air unit. So this looks very similar to the original air unit packaging that we had uh, back in the day when the system first released. So let's open it up and see what we get. All right, we've got some stuff in here. Okay, so we've got a fairly large manual and it does link you with a QR code to online, which is good. Okay, so this is different language. That's why we have such a big manual. We've got this guy. Okay, so warning about the overheating and making sure we have good uh, ventilation. So no surprise. Uh, it looks like my camera has moved in transit. So we have the camera. 
We've got the air unit itself. Okay. So the original air unit used to come with a lens protector during shipment. This doesn't have it, and I guess it's because we have these guys here, which protects it a little bit. Okay, so that's all you get. Nothing too fancy. We've got our cable. We have our antenna. All right, so that is all we have in the package. Let's take a look. Okay, we have more desiccants. Do not eat. Okay, so that is the air unit. Let me put that aside and come back with the, the main piece, which is the goggles. All right, and here is the main piece. So let me go ahead and open this up. And I'm hoping this actually comes with a cable because the remote control did not. At this point, I've got a cable, but imagine someone getting into the system brand new and no cable. That's not, that's not a good experience. Okay, so I have to pull a tab. And let's see what it comes with here. So we've got, of course, the goggles. We have the antenna, battery, eyeglass flame, eyeglass frame, screen protector, that's good, headband, power cable, U okay, perfect. So it does come with the USB-C cable. All right, that's good. So now let's open it up. Okay. Yeah, so th their packaging is really nice, very kind of Apple-like. So we have the goggles there. We've got a box with all the miscellaneous good stuff, and I dropped something. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Get the box out of the way. So we've got a cable. What is this? Okay, so it's a USB. Okay, so it's a USB type C over to a regular kind of USB. All right, we have that. We've got the power cable. So the power cable has this little stringy or stretchy piece as well. Um, and one thing I've read is this is not compatible with the power cable that came with the regular uh, V2 or with the um, V1 goggles, so bear that in mind. Okay, we have the eyeglass uh, frames. So this is in case you want to get uh, your own prescription lenses cut to, to size. And then you can place those in these holders here. So you can get your prescription lenses in these goggles. Okay, we've got head strap. Head strap. Okay, so it's pretty pretty hard. It's pretty hard in terms of stretch. Well, here is here's better. Okay, so definitely not as nice as my uh, ethics one, but I'm sure there'll be aftermarket ones that comes out eventually. Then we've got la battery. So this, my understanding, is this exact same battery as. Hey, it's ripped. I've got a hole. Uh, it's the exact same battery as the V2, except it has a little notch. And the intent here is this little notch just kind of clips there and just stays in so it doesn't pull out. So, something like that. Is there a tester? Yep, yeah, so it comes with a little bit of battery. Okay, so the goggles themselves, let's take a look at this. Okay. Uh, so super light, super compact. Looks pretty good. You have the antennas left and right. Yeah, this feels very good. I have to see how the fitment is, but before I wrap up this video, let me switch over to the computer and let's see what firmware version these came with and what version is available now. So these adjusters feel really, really good. If you push it in, you can move and adjust the IPD, which is the distance between the two lenses. If you turn them, you can adjust the diopters. So if your eyes are the minus, say, two, so mine, probably like minus one. So I'll go somewhere there. I'll try this out. But you can adjust these independently from two to minus eight. And it feels very, very good when you're turning this. It feels very high end and feels like high quality. Now we're at the computer and we've got the remote controller two plugged in. 
make sure you are using the correct version of the software. There are now three different versions. You want the Assistant 2 Customer Drone Series, and it looks like this is the version the controller came with. This is the version that is the latest from November the 15th. I will go ahead and upgrade. And here we are with the Goggles 2. Now the Goggles 2, you do have to plug in the power before it will connect your computer. We can see the versions. Again, our version is from November the 15th. Let me go ahead and upgrade this as well. And the final piece is the O3 Air Unit. That one already has the version one software, again, November 15th. And the good thing with the Air Unit, you don't have to plug in your uh, drone battery. It'll work just off the USB cable. All right, so I hope you like this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and stay tuned for a lot more content to come on the O3 Air Unit, along with drones, quadcopter, home renovation, and so forth. Thanks for sticking around to the very end. Here, we're just doing a couple of quick tests on the QAVS Mini, trying different uh, camera modes. Right now, we're flying in normal mode in the hobby, aka furnace room and we see a little bit of the props in view, those red spinny things on either corner, those are the props. This is no worse than what I was seeing on the Vista. Now we're looking at wide mode. Again, not too bad. We're seeing a little bit of the props in view, but nothing too crazy. Canvas mode working really well. Now finally, we're looking at the ultra wide mode, and this one is a little bit less useful, lots of prop in view, quite uh, fish-eyed and we're also seeing a bit of the top deck in view. So I probably will stick with normal or, or wide. Those two both seem useful.